Hey there, I'm David Pereira and I did my service learning project through Habitat for Humanity. So basically what Habitat for Humanity is, um, they're a nonprofit organization and they're in all 50 states and they're also in 70 different countries. And basically their whole objective is to make every community a good place to live. So even if you're in a bad community or even a good community, they try to find ways to improve it and help people who can't afford certain things. Um, so what we did as a group, uh, my group members were Andrew and Jerry. Um, what we specifically did, um, we started out in the ReStore. So the ReStore is a store where people come and donate their old goods. And basically one man's trash becomes another man's treasure. So you take those donated items and a lot of it's dismantled. So you put it together, you clean it up and you put it on the floor to sell. So what we did, we would work with customers, show them around the store, um, and then people came throughout the day and donated their stuff. And we would take that stuff, and usually it's like dismantled furniture, and we'd drill it together, we'd figure out how to put it together, make it look good, so we could sell it. Um, so we did a lot of that. It was a lot of kind of putting stuff together, organizing, cleaning, um, making it look good. Um, so the ReStore helps out people who can't really afford, say like a new couch or even something as small as a light bulb, they'll come there and they'll buy it at a markdown price um, that somebody donated it at. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then we also moved on to the paint team. The paint team is a team for Habitat for Humanity that goes around and people who can't afford to paint the outside of their houses or um, just can't do it, they will go out and they'll paint their house. So we did an elderly couple's house who couldn't afford to paint their outside of their house, they couldn't afford to pay for it. And then they also couldn't do it themselves. So we went out there and we took some rollers and we painted the whole outside of the house, took a bunch of hours. Um, we taped off everything, painted, cleaned it all up, got out of there and it was a pretty cool experience. Um, then we also worked on some roofing. Um, so we went out and we put some shingles on a roof, finished it off. Um, it was hot, it wasn't as fun as people would think probably, but it's a very rewarding experience because people can't afford to have that done. People. You know they need that kind of stuff so it's cool to see the smile that you get to put on people's faces and it was all pretty cool experience so i'm gonna share some photos and some footage of what we did right now So that showed a little bit about what we did there. Um, my construction background actually prepared me well for this. Um, I've always worked around the house and done small projects, put things together, built things, um, painted before. So that's kind of helped me. And also I've worked in a construction company for a while now. Um, so that's really prepared me with tools, um, how to prepare with safety and how to work as a team. So that was pretty cool to have that. Um, Habitat for Humanity also is pretty good at sustainability. Um, they do a lot to kind of help the environment build stuff that's going to last a long time. So they also have that restore that I was talking about. And the restore basically, um, it's a whole recycling process within itself. So, I mean, people donate their stuff and then you build it, put it back together and you sell it again. So stuff's not getting thrown away. It's a whole recycling process. So that's a sustainable process. Um, also, they always promote stuff like carpooling, um, going green and helping the environment, stuff like that, just small stuff that people can do while they're volunteering with them that's gonna help the environment. So they're pretty good with that. Um, the three main things I learned there, um, number one, you can paint the outside of a house with a roller. Um, it's kind of funny, but I've always thought you can only do it with a spray gun. I mean, it looks a lot better with a spray gun, but if you wanna put a roller to the outside of a house that has stucco on it, um, you can do it. It's just gonna be pretty, pretty weird, I guess, but it can be done and we did it. So it's pretty cool. Um, also number two, Habitat for Humanity is all around us. Um, they do little things all around you. So people like your neighbors could even be having stuff done by Habitat for Humanity. So they're kind of like the silent hero of the community. Um, thing number three, I learned um, how much community service does to you. It's a very rewarding experience. Um, you get to put smiles on people's faces. So that's always the coolest thing to me. All in all, it was a great experience and I'd recommend it to anyone.